Hi guys, it's Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. I'm here in Florence, Italy at Aquaflor, a perfume house that's based here in Florence, of course. And we're going to do a tour of this hardly known for, to the fragrance community perfume house and where they sell tons of body perfumes and also home perfumes, diffusers, soaps, and you name it, barber shop type things that uh, men use to shave and all sorts of stuff like that. So if you're curious to find out about this little known perfumery, stick around to find out all about it. So hi everyone, you know, welcome to Aquafor Firenze. This is a I'm Antonio Artesi, the olfactory specialist and also the person in charge of communication and all didactic and educational activities here at the perfumery. So we are perfumery, an artistic niche perfumery, artisanal, that was uh, started in 2009 and uh, you know from a small place in this wonderful palazzo which is in the heart of the Santa Croce district. We're talking about 1472 Palazzo with Giuliano da Sangallo, one of the gems of the Renaissance here. And we're very fortunate to, to be here. And we started this very small in 2009 with a collection that was designed at the time by the perfumer Siliano Caloni. Collection that slowly expanded, you know, between home fragrances and especially, you know, high quality, high level body fragrances. So we also have a little bit of a cosmetics, you know, some lines and a soap, artisanal soaps and stuff like that, which I think represent the tradition of a Florentine, you know, tradition of a perfume making. Uh, now we expanded a little bit and we do have our lab here down in, uh, in, the, in uh, the cellars of this wonderful palazzo and uh, we make sure that uh, everything from the vision of a perfumer, the production, all the line of production from the conception, the inception of the perfume down to the uh, you know production at the end and the packaging that we do everything by hand. We have a small amount of, uh, of uh, pieces every day that we make and uh, we control constantly the quality from A to Z and this is Aquaflor Firenze. Here we are in, in the room where I actually hold the workshops uh, because we want to communicate to, to the people what differences are between you know commercial perfumery that you know sometimes it's just a brand or artistic and artisanal perfumery where you can actually can build and know and learn how to build up a perfume from the bottom up. Obviously this is not an easy task. I mean, you know, the perfumery world uh, is populated with the people who are highly skilled and they need to work a lot and a long time for actually produce and come up with a creative product. It, but uh, uh, we felt that in order to connect the people in general to the, our product it was necessary to explain them and uh, to let them touch exactly what's going on in producing a perfume. So we do uh, take care of some of the, we selected a series of uh, basic fragrances that actually cover the uh, spectrum of uh, the olfactory families and you know I guide people to realize their own fragrance, customized fragrances through a workshop and, uh, and at the end they will receive a bottle of uh, 100 milliliter you know, perfume. This is what you know someone has done, and uh, it is a you know fantastic opportunity to see all the steps necessary to create a fragrance. This is also uh, another you know interesting corner. As we talk about perfume, we talk about raw materials. I mean, most of them are flowers. Here we have a collection of flowers, and which actually are for decoration. Uh, but uh, we assemble you know bouquets, and you can come and pick your your things for decorations only. But you can actually actually you know spray those and then assign some perfumes to these compositions. I mean this is you say you know we use a natural material, you know, some conditioned flowers as we call them, you know, wood, paper, not plastic at all, all natural materials. Here we are in our lab and uh, as you can see the lab actually, you know, is a mic over there just uh, doing you know one by hand, you know, every single a product that we make and uh, so we have uh, a line of, uh, of uh, home fragrances that we have subdivided we have 30 
uh, different kinds of fragrances that you can use. This is a 300 bottles we design our bottle. The bottle of glass is a very high quality designed by you know uh, uh, us, you know proprietary design, but also made by Bormioli, which is one of the top uh, glass makers in Italy. Here we have our iconic bottle for you know uh, body fragrances. We do produce a parfum and parfum concentrate. And we also have some uh, waters and uh, some uh, colognes that we call the Florentine colognes. And you know, they are in tune with the tradition of a fresh, you know, herbal uh, citrusy notes that, you know, characterize the Italian cologne at the very beginning. And uh, as you can see, we have, uh, uh, you know, a series of fragrances in those aluminum cans and then we provide you know, to uh, put them into alcohol according to the, the, the uh, dilution that we want to achieve, the concentration actually, and then we will uh, drop the temperature, we filter them, we let them macerate, filter them and bottle them, and then we do everything in here. And everything is done by hand, you know, sometimes a kind of a tedious uh, way, but that's the way we keep everything artisanal and, uh, and you know, and then we do, you know, labels and, you know, by ourselves, you know, making, making, you know, making sure that everything is actually uh, handmade. Um, we do not produce a huge amount of, uh, of uh, bottles, I mean, we are by far one of the smallest, you know, <laughs> you know perfumers here in town. But we're proud of what we're doing. It's actually the quality of, uh, of the line that uh, we have. So we are here now in uh, the room dedicated to the home fragrances. And as you can see, we have a selection of uh, several that go according to the colors. We do dye a little bit of our fragrances. We use a bottle of uh, 100 milliliters and uh, 300 milliliters, but we can also go to one liter, five liters, as much as you need of your fragrance. And those are, you know, diffuser sticks of bamboo that, you know, allow you to diffuse the fragrances as much as you want. And interesting enough, you know, we have some fresher stuff. This is the iconic, this, you know, product, which is called Aquaflor. It's an olfactory portrait of Florence. So when you come to Florence, you know, what you smell, what you, you know, what the atmosphere that actually is evoking in your memory. Florence is the, the town of uh, 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 artists, artisans, you know, sculptures, painters. So the perfumer imagined an olfactory portrait of Florence. So you get in, you know, just visiting a painter shop and then what you smell there, not what you see, but what you smell. You smell paint, you smell wood, you smell turpentine, you have, you know, a little vase with the flowers that's still alive, you know, the iris, the roses. That's exactly what's in this, in this uh, perfume that we actually called exactly Aquaflor. And this is the first of the collection. But then we go from fresher ones, you know, to more exotic ones, to more fruity, you know, exotic uh, compounds like a vanilla, saffron, you know. And uh, to go to one of the, my favorite, which one is called, it's called the harem, because harem is the garden where you know the garden forbidden to the man. It's not just a collection of women that the sultans you know have in you know in some other cultures. No, it is you know the secret garden of uh, women, and uh, and then you can smell exotic flowers there, and exotic fruit. And this is a little bit the idea behind this perfume, which is an interpretation of that specific world. Here is the collection of soaps that, uh, uh, you know, an artisan makes for us. And, uh, uh, you know, it's a th three generation of uh, soap makers in, in Florence. So we provide, you know, the basic fragrances to be mixed, the vegetable oils, and they vary from sandalwood to almonds to uh, the, the purple one is a lavender to rose and the high quality, high season, you know, uh, quality soaps that, you know, make sure that, you know, they're not harsh on your skin, but also you can, you know, uh, use them up to the last sliver so they don't get mushy over, you know, like, like a regular soap in contact with water. And we have also a collection of our very uh, various artisanal products that may are uh, unique pieces made by artisans all over Italy, like you know brushes, you know, or you know sponges, or you know the sets over here for gentlemen. 
uh, which complement the collection of the colognes. For instance, this is called Empire Air, and we also have a soap, and we have several different accessories that you can purchase. And uh, so they're all unique pieces, you know, handcraft with uh, top care, but some of the best artisans in Italy, not only in Florence. Uh, as soon as you enter this place through a very, very little door, which actually is like, you know, everyone comes in and says, oh, I didn't know, I mean, it was just walking by and then I didn't realize that, you know, you have this incredible space here. We did it a little bit on purpose so that, you know, you have this kind of discovery feeling. It's not flashy, it doesn't have, you know, those all windows, and, but you need to actually discover. and. Uh, here is where the uh, path, I mean the journey through artistic perfumery starts, where you become very interested and curious about the fragrances. In fact, we don't have flashlights, everything is a little dimmed, it's very quiet, and you will be enjoying your smell. So you're smelling and this is, you know, really a boutique where you can sit down, relax, and spend a little time meditating, you know, the fragrance that we have uh, constructed. We have uh, a series of, uh, of, uh, of uh, body fragrances here that go from the freshest notes, you know, the feminine notes, you know, the floral part, the more intense, the a little bit more, you no know, exotic uh, things, the amber, the oud, a collection of uh, up to the uh, latest uh, molecules that are used in perfumery. We have synthetic and natural, so we don't. You know, we are not a herbalist or anything like that, but we consider those two ingredients, uh, the raw materials of excellent, you know, uh, quality to be at the bottom of our production and our products in general. And we also, in the back, as you can see, we have some special collections. We have, this is the regular, the first tire, and then we are a little bit, you know, the Preziosi, which is a collection of six up to the uh, uh, rari, so the rarest one, fragrances that actually are made of, uh, uh, you know, raw materials which is not available every every time of the year. So it's a specific stuff. You know, we have collections of uh, essential oils of you know of rose, absolute rose, absolute that we source out the best producers in uh, in the world. We consider our collections unisex. But obviously the floral part, the intense floral, a little bit, you know, fruity, the cocoa and stuff like that, it's more related to the, you know, to the women, uh, as a women fragrances, and our, basically our, uh, our best sellers are, you know, Aphrodisia, Orphica, Frenesia, Ophrenesia, as you want, up to the, the, the one which is Marilyn Monroe, MM, which has been basically designed by Silvio Coloni, uh, uh, considering the, uh, you know, this uh, uh, exhibition of, uh, of uh, paraphernalia, dresses, clothes, objects that, you know, uh, Marilyn Monroe had, this collector in Torino, and so it was a little bit like a, a uh, travel back in time to see what kind of fragrances could represent better, you know, best uh, Marilyn Monroe. And so we came up with a very floral, intense floral, with some important base notes, but uh, it is you know one of the the top sellers right now, and it's uh, you know rightly so in my opinion. And then we have some more international uh, fragrances like you know C D, Corps Diplomatique, Berber, which obviously obviously uh, suggests something about uh, you know the. Uh, certain spices that are actually used, you know, in, in Northern Africa and the Miltemi, which reminds of the wind and the sea in Greece. So it's a kind of very fresh marine fragrance. Up to the, you know, classic oud and oud a little bit more floral, less floral, you know, intense. We have a collection of three uh, oud, oud jazir, oud oman and uh, oud, simply oud, which is the top one. But we have also some uh, <clears throat> uh, some other, you know, uh, like spleen, some other products like Kalimbor. Uh This one dervish has a little bit of a, of a sweet, you know, incense-like and resin uh, uh, flavors. And uh, a Beirut has uh, it's a kind of a harsher uh, fragrance, but very nice. I mean, a Hussar, which is a leather-based. Uh, 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 parfum, and so you know, it's a various collection that actually you you will find when you come here. You definitely will find your 
your fragrance and the one that you you definitely like or would like to wear. So we are here in uh, the uh, you know studio, the perfumer, where he receives you know the, the, the clientele. I mean, you know, his clients, you know, whoever is interested in having a personalized, tailor-made uh, perfume. So we have a little bit of you know several different things. This is this thing. Then the next thing we're going to see is the you know actually the organ. So the place where you know all the raw materials are you know organized and which is the, from which you know he takes inspiration in composing fragrances. So we are here in the second room, which is basically the atelier de perfume. As you can see, this is a collection of the raw materials, both natural and synthetic. And this is where you know actually the perfumer composes and uses you know the traditional you know uh, tools for this thing. So. Uh, a collection of raw materials and fragrances, you know, assembled from all over the world and uh, the best uh, raw materials and uh, nothing. And here, you know, the study of the fragrances that actually they will be eventually implemented implemented and added to the, to the collection. Uh, here, I personally here have uh, you know, it's like a kind of going in a, you know, in an amusement park, an olfactory amusement park where you can actually smell everything, you know, from, uh, from, uh, uh, you know, the, the lemon to everything, you know, everything is used in, uh, in the perfumery and you will be amazed at the amount of, uh, of fragrances you might discover. Thank you so much for being with us in this small tour, the discovery of Aquaflor Firenze. You're more than welcome to come over and to stay with us and uh, we'll be happy to show you in, uh, in, uh, in a real uh, what have you seen you know, through this video. And thank you for our friends YouTuber. Thanks so much for watching this video preview of Aquaflor. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Otherwise, if you're a little curious to find out about this place and you're visiting Florence, make sure you check it out when you're here because I think they have some excellent fragrances that are worth exploring, especially if you're looking for the fragrances that you might have never heard of or your friends never owning. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one. Goodbye.